this is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this photographic text effect using GIMP. And if you'd like to know how you can make GIMP uh, have these custom icons here like you see on my screen, a link to that information will be in the description of the video. So before we get started with this tutorial, one thing you'll have to keep in mind is this sort of effect uh, works best with a heavyweight font, a font that's like really thick and has like a lot of like a uh, weight to it like you see here the font I'll be using in this tutorial is called Montserrat heavy and I will have a link to that in the description so if you'd like to use this same exact font go ahead and download and install that font before opening up GIMP and then we should be good to go so the first thing we want to do is open up our image here of the surfer and I'll have that linked in the description of the video so I'm just gonna right click that and open it with GIMP open with GIMP and there's our image. And what I want to do now is create a new layer on top of this. So I'm going to come over here to this button that says create a new layer and add it to the image. You click on that. And when we get this pop-up dialog over here, we want to use transparency. And go ahead and click OK. And what I want to do now is I want to grab the gradients tool, or the blend tool actually, which is over here. And I want to change the foreground color to um, a shade of, uh, I'm going to make this red. And I'm going to take this B row down here. I'm going to slide that down until it's almost like a pinkish red. Kind of like that. If you'd like the exact number I'm using here, it's FF0064. You just type that in and you should get the same exact result. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And that's going to be the foreground color. And the background color, I'm going to change that to uh, like a shade of yellow. I'll come up here, change this B to... Uh, like a yellow. Now come up here to the G and I'll just slide that to the left a little and make that a little orangish. We want it to be like a yellowish orange like that. And again, the exact code I'm using, F6B149, if you'd like to use that precise code. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And what I want to do now is I want to come down here to where it says gradient. Let's click on this. And we're going to want to come up from this drop down over here and click, choose the one that says foreground to background or FG to BG. And we're going to want linear from this drop down and up here where it says gradient you want to make sure it says fg to bg i think i went over that already and once we've done that uh, i'm going to zoom out on this a little bit to zoom out i'm just going to hold control and roll down on the mouse wheel once like that and i'm going to come, bring my cursor to the bottom left outside of the image over here and i'm just going to click and drag this line and create it's going to the the top right outside of the image like that and it's going to create a gradient and what I'll do now is I'll come up here to where it says opacity. And I'm going to drop that down to about, uh, I don't know, maybe 70, maybe 70. That looks pretty good. Whatever amount where you could kind of see the image through the background there. That's, that's, I think that's good enough right there. Maybe I'll use, maybe I'll shorten that gradient up a little bit and try again. Oops, no. You could hit control Z to undo, undo it and try again. I'm going to try and create this again. All right, that should work. That should be good enough. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create some text to go in there. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to the text tool. And we want to go ahead and choose our font, which is Montserrat Heavy. You can click on this button and go through the list. You should be able to find Montserrat Heavy. For the size, I'm using 561 pixels. And that's because the image I downloaded here, I downloaded the 1920 copy of this image here. If you go to the details, you'll see... The size is 1920 by 1107. The link that I give you, there's options to download different sizes. If you want to follow along with exactly what I'm doing, go ahead and just download that size right there. And um, the text, I'm going to have it centered. And the spacing between the letters, which is down here, I'm going to have that set to negative 52. And once we have those parameters set, we'll actually want to change this. We want to change the color to, uh, we'll just make that white so we can see it. And once we have all of that set, I'm just going to click on the can I'm going to click the cursor onto the canvas right here, and I'm just going to write in the uh, uh, the word "sun" in caps, S U N, like that. And that's pretty good. And what I'll do now is I'll go to the alignment tool, which is right here, the alignment tool, and go ahead and click on the text. And once you click on the text, you should get these little four points in the corners here. And I want to come over here to this drop down and have it set to image. And I want to click this button that aligns it to the center of the page. And then I want to click this button down here that aligns it to the middle of the page on both the horizontal and vertical axis like that. 
And once we have that set, we're pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna right click on that text layer and I'm gonna go to uh, alpha to selection. And then I'll go ahead and turn off the eyeball next to the text layer so it's not visible anymore. And then I'll click on our gradient layer beneath it and I'll just press delete on the keyboard. And that gets rid of, that punches a hole through that gradient layer in the shape of the text we created. And then we can go to select none and there we have it, we're finished. We've created our um, photographic text using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.